the series on my channel where I rescue something, get it out of a bad situation and then find a new home. If you've not seen the first video I did like this where I rescued a guinea pig, he is now in a good new home and that does free up space for me to help something else and this time it's a rabbit. So obviously there are so so many rabbits and guinea pigs and other animals out there that need help and you can't physically help them all but the reason this one stands out to me is because initially he was being given away for very very little and then actually given away for free and that can attract people that want them for things like snake food or for the dog's entertainment so that's not good and also his living conditions aren't the best. I'm fairly sure he's being kept in a very very small single story hutch which of course is not good, so he needs a complete redo and they want him gone ASAP, so I'm gonna go and pick him up. And he's also so, so cute. I've never seen a rabbit with this coloration or this pattern combination, so he is definitely very, very cute. And I think I might struggle a lot more with this than I did with guinea pigs because rabbits have my heart. I grew up with rabbits and this, I can tell, is gonna be difficult, but we're gonna help him and find him a new home. I apologise, I didn't realise until I started filming this, I've actually got quite a sore throat, but we are actually in the process of starting a charity and a rescue, and when I say we, I mean me and my best friend, because we've definitely noticed a gap in our local area for people taking in rabbits and guinea pigs, and if they are, they're not really giving them the best care or the best intentions, so that is quite disappointing, and we just felt obligated to actually step up and do it ourselves, so we are focusing on rabbits and guinea pigs because that seems to be the biggest issue at the moment, and she also has rabbits and guinea pigs herself, so that's the plan, we want to do it properly. We are in the process of having a logo made, making a website, and actually registering as a proper charity, so bear with us, it's about to get a lot more official, and not just be rad from my spare bedroom. We are actually in the early stages of planning enclosures on some land that's going to help more animals and be a lot more of a long-term solution, but that is very, very expensive. I asked my friend who also runs a rabbit rescue which enclosures and pens she uses, and they're about £500 each, so not cheap. We have been handing the guinea pig and the rabbit ourselves, but going forward we can't afford to do that off our own back. I am going to have to start fundraising somehow, so I will leave a link in the description of how you could possibly help and how you could possibly donate if you want to and you are in a position to help us kind of get started, get building things and be able to take in more rabbits and guinea pigs because the crisis in this country is just insane and we need more people helping and rescuing them, so we have been crazy enough to say that we'll do it, but for now, let's go rescue this rabbit. Okay, I've got him, he is in my office. Now, a quick disclaimer before we carry on with the rest of the video. The minimum for rabbits in this country is three by two by one meters. And obviously in rescue and emergency situations, that can't always be achieved straight away. So I would say this was an emergency. Things weren't quite as I expected when we got there. So I'll explain that in a minute, but obviously long-term the goal is to rehome him, to have so much space, friends, all of that, that is the goal, and hopefully it won't take too long, but for now he is safe, he is alive, he's going to have so much enrichment, but this setup is just a temporary setup, and also rabbits have to be in slightly smaller setups just after they've been neutered or spayed and they're recovering, and that is the recommendations by our vets, so he is getting neutered very, very soon. I actually had the appointment before I even knew I was getting him, because it rolled over from the guinea pig that we had that didn't need that appointment, so he's going to be neutered very, very soon, and then moved into a bigger setup. 
But anyway, apologies if you can hear him throwing his hay around in the background, but the situation with him was quite different to what we expected. I was fully expecting him to be in the tiny hutch that was in the pictures when we turned up, and he wasn't. He was free roaming, just allowed to run loose in the garden, unsupervised, and it took us 40 minutes to get him out from underneath their decking because he had dug a whole burrow system under there, and they also had like six, seven cats. None of them were spayed or neutered, and they were all running around underneath the decking as well, so it took us a long, long time to actually catch him and bring him back. They also had a litter of newborn kittens, well, one kitten that was crying because the mother took the rest of them outside, under the decking, into the garden, and the local fox got the rest of them. So there was one kitten, and apparently they also had another rabbit that was living with him that was his social company that passed away, I'm assuming also from the local fox that was just getting all the cats and the rabbits that were just under the decking, so the whole thing was a bit of a mess, but they didn't want him to end up in the same situation and pass away or be fox food, so luckily they were kind enough to hand him over and he's now not going to get eaten by a fox. So I've named him Boots and he is roughly around two years old from the very limited information that I was given about him, but from looking at him I would estimate that he is around two or three, he is definitely not a baby by any means, so he is also really affectionate and really friendly given the circumstances. Obviously rabbits don't enjoy and shouldn't be picked up and cuddled very often, but from the few times that I have had to pick him up, he doesn't seem to mind and he just loves to be pet and sit there and be squished so he is going to make someone a really really good rabbit and I'm trying not to get attached because he's just so cute and I am already obsessed and head over heels with him but trying to detach myself from that because I can't get attached. <laughs> you need to be brushed because you're all scraggly. You're all scraggly on the back end where you've been wet. You're gonna look so handsome. You're gonna be so handsome after this. You are. Good boy. Good boy. I know, it feels weird, huh? It feels weird, huh? Hi, buddy. I got you a present. I got you a present. What's this? What's this? Bye. <laughs> you want this? You want this? One second then. Okay, so update on Boots, he's going in to be neutered and also microchipped tomorrow and this past week or so has been very mentally challenging because I tried so hard not to fall in love with him but I have, I can't help it, he's so friendly and I thought he was just one of those rabbits that's like that with every person that he meets but I've had other people come in and meet him and he's not quite sure of them so we have definitely bonded in the past week or so of him being here and I won't lie, I was very, very tempted to just try and make things work and keep him. I was prepared to move heaven and earth, move things around, figure something out, just to be able to keep him, give up other dreams of having an office and things just to have him here. But I have somehow managed to retrain the way that my brain thinks about things. As much as I love this rabbit so, so much, I recognise that he deserves to have a good home that's ready right now and has other rabbits right now. So that is not me and he does have someone that is interested and can provide him all of the things. So I've managed in the past couple of days to kind of detach myself from the situation. And if I'm gonna do this and do this properly, I can't want to keep every single animal that I rescue, so somehow managed to like change the way that I'm thinking and I can't wait for him to go to a good home. 
But as I said, tomorrow he is being neutered and also microchipped and we have opted to microchip him. Some rescues do, some rescues don't. But I would hate for him to get lost at any point and not be able to make his way back to us, so just doing that as a precaution. And the cost of everything, including his vaccinations, is about £150, which is quite an expense, and you don't get much back of that with the adoption fees, so if anyone would like to donate at all towards our rescue, the rescue PayPal is linked in the description. Any small amount helps us, and helps us continue to rescue more animals so I'll leave that link in the description but I will see you tomorrow when he is getting neutered. You did so good. Should we get you home buddy? Oh look your little bandage. Come on then good boy. Check your wound. We do. Can I have a quick look? Can I have a look? I know you're sore. I know it's sore. Can I see? I know. Oh. It's looking good though. It's looking good. A bit swollen there. Understandably, he's a bit more shy than usual. He's always keen to run up to the cage and be pet, but he is a bit cautious because. You've been poked and prodded, haven't you? So we'll put you back now and give you your medicine. Should we let the vets know you're doing okay? Oh, buddy. You're a bit sad, aren't you? But it's for a good reason. Because now you can go to a new home. Come bearing gifts. Can we be friends again? What's that? The outside came in. <laughs> Yum. Can we just take a minute to appreciate my DIY hay box? I just got finished with this cardboard box and it's a perfect shape so I thought I'm gonna zip tie this on and see if it works and Boots is loving it. I mean, it doesn't look cute but it's functional. So that is Boots all sorted, he has been neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, he's been dematted, the lot. And I'm gonna end this video here I think, it's probably a good place to end this because I think it's getting a bit long, but I'm ending this on a happy note by saying that he's actually getting adopted, and he's being adopted by one of my channel members, he's going to live in a big indoor setup, I think he's having his own bedroom with two of the rabbits eventually, obviously it's best to wait six weeks approximately post neuter, but that is the goal, he's going to live with two of the rabbits, with a bunch of enrichment, many of the same toys that he has been really enjoying here, so I could not be happier for him. Obviously I love this rabbit so so much, but this was just a temporary place to help him, get him sorted, and get him on his way to a forever home, so I am going to miss him so so much, but I'm so excited for him to have more space friends in Richmond and go to his forever home so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and wish Boots good luck in his new home and I will see you guys in my next video where I'm rescuing something else no doubt now that I have space with Boots going to his new home eventually then you will see something else here very very soon but don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye